All right, so this is just a sample part. Uh, I just want to show you um, some datum reference uh, information uh, and new alignments or secondary uh, or more alignments uh, in Calypso. Uh, so basically, when we get into, let's, I'm just going to do true position, okay? And I have some random features here. Uh, I'm going to go to form location, I'm going to go true position. And there's no, I'm just, uh, the main focus here is about the datums and what some of this stuff's about. So uh, what I usually do is I my base alignment the original alignment in Calypso uh, normally is my my primary datum alignment my A B C or whatever the main datum alignment is on the workpiece. Okay, um, if there's more than one datum reference frame in a workpiece, then okay, uh, some of the questions that come up is you know do you have multiple alignments like you would with PC Demus um, because that that is something that I used to do in PC Demus. Um, I know there are datum reference frames, verse alignments, or current alignment um, in PC Demus, uh, but in Clipso, there's a couple different things you can do. So I'm just going to pick a feature, and I'm going to pick cylinder one. Okay, um, this is in metric now. I'm going to show you at the end how to change that quick. Uh, but right now it's base alignment, so it's coming from that original datum reference frame. That's fine. What if you don't want to use the base alignment? Let's say it's another one. There's a couple ways you can do that. I can go in and I can say, let's say this is A, B, C. There's your datum reference frame for true position one. And you can continue and reselect each time if you want. Um, that's fine, it flows. Or you can go in here and you can go to save datum reference frame and you can say this is A, B, C. I don't have a drawing, I'm just saying this would be A, B, C, whatever they are. You can name them whatever you want. Hit OK. All right. So now that datum reference frame is saved right here. OK. Again, primary, secondary, tertiary. Okay. Now, if I do a new true position, brand new, and I select the same feature, all right, because it does, you know, again, that's not the point of this. I can go to this pull down and go to load datum reference frame, and ABC is there again, and there it is. So there's no need to reselect again. You can keep using it over and over again. All right, so you have the option of using the base alignment. Okay, the I wouldn't worry about alignment of features. It's base alignment, or you can load a data reference frame that you currently you previously used in another uh, characteristic. Now, the other way to do this, if I X out of here, is if you go to um, resources, utilities, and alignment, you get a new alignment. Here it is in the characteristics. This alignment, okay we'll tweak it around. So let's say we want uh, we want this plane is I think is plane 5. Okay. And for planar rotation we'll use this plane. And we'll use this plane. Okay. And Z origin here we'll use this plane. Okay. This alignment when you do a new one isn't quite as intuitive as your original base alignment. So it doesn't flow as well. But anyway, let's say we're using this one. Okay. And we'll hit OK. And I'm going to rename this, you know, uh, CDA, something. Again, I'm not even paying attention to what's what. I'm just saying that this is another datum reference frame. Um, or it could be ABC again. It doesn't matter. This is another method to do it. So there's another alignment. And this alignment does nothing. The base alignment is still prioritized. OK. Um, so let's do another true position. And again, the order is also sort of irrelevant. OK as usual. So what I usually do when I do this method is this is just an alignment that I can reference later. Okay, um, You can't, at least that I have not found, that you know it does not supersede this alignment. All right. So this is just another tool to use, like a datum reference frame call out. Okay. So it, again, it, like, like right now, if we went and did a distance, um, let's say this was kicked 180, the X, Y, Z, if you do, you know, like a psi standards X, is still going to be from the base alignment in my experience. That's what I have ran into. So what this thing uh, comes and what I've used it for is if you go back in a formal location and go to true position, okay, and we pick, again, cylinder one, because, again, that's not the point, and we go to alignment feature, we can go to alignment and go to their CDA. Okay, there's CDA. So that's just another way to, you know, have data and reference frames. And you could have a bunch of different alignments. Again, alignments is in resources, 
utilities, alignment. Okay. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, those are, you know, that's three ways. Uh, again, you can go in, you can click them every time. Click them right in the screen, it fills it in. Uh, you can go in and you can, you would save that, pro, you know, the save the alignment from one and then load it. Okay, and they're in there. The other option is to do a new alignment in, in again, resources, utilities, and alignment up on top. And then that is just a datum reference frame that is separate from the base alignment. Or you could use the base alignment. So we go to true position here and go to base alignment. So now it's referencing the datum reference frame is the base alignment. So it's up to you. Those are just some options you have. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Uh, thanks.